Hello everybody and welcome. I hope you're having a great day. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking in with us. I'm Wayne and this is Let's Start Cooking. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone that has subscribed to our channel. You know, I, I really appreciate it. And they say that a journey begins with the first step. And for me, the first step is getting to 100 subscribers. And I know we can do it and I appreciate everything you guys have done for us. And today, we're going to do Mongolian pork. And all we're gonna to need to start with is we're just gonna prepare our pork tenderloin. Now you want a pork tenderloin, you don't want a pork loin roast. These you can usually pick up, they're pre-packaged. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these and we wanna cut this down a little bit because what we want is about half inch to an inch cubes. We don't really want anything bigger. So we're just gonna go right on down. We're just gonna flay it out like this. Just like that. We don't have to get real fancy with it, but all we want to do is we want to make sure that we don't have too big of pieces because these we want these bite size. And they don't have to be perfect, you're not. All right. And all we're gonna do with these is we're just gonna cut half decent pieces, like I said. And we're just gonna cut right on down and we're gonna do the whole thing. And if they start to get too wide on you, you can always cut them in half again. Once you get it all chopped up into nice cubes, that's all we're worrying about. Just bite-sized pieces. All right, once you get it all cut up like that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a large Ziploc bag and we're gonna take a quarter cup of cornstarch. And the reason that we're adding cornstarch is we want our sauce to be clear. And cornstarch, it's a good thickening agent to thicken this up, but it'll stay clear and it won't make it look like a brown gravy. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pork and we're just gonna put it right in the bag. And we wanna coat these pieces. We just wanna make sure that we get all these pieces coated the best we can. I'm gonna get all these coated, and then we're gonna set them aside, and we're gonna heat up our oil. Once you've coated your pork with the cornstarch, you're gonna take it out and leave it to, on a plate on the side, and we're gonna heat up about two tablespoons of oil in our pan, and we're gonna let that heat up. We let our oil heat up, and you're only gonna put about half of these in at a time because we don't wanna crowd these. So you're just gonna put them in a little bit at a time, leave enough room, Once you get these cooked up, you're gonna cook these for about five minutes. You're gonna get everything cooked up and we're just gonna transfer these to an, another bowl or a plate and we're gonna let these set to the side because now we're gonna start making our sauce. If there's anything left over in the pan, don't scrape the pan off. We're gonna want that for our sauce. So we're just gonna put this over here for now. We're gonna let them chill out over there. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit and now we're gonna prepare our sauce. Now that we've heated this up, we're cooking the uh, garlic and we're cooking the ginger and you can really start to smell it. We're gonna add our soy sauce and our water. And we're gonna add our brown sugar. And we're gonna cook this in. And we're gonna let this simmer for about three minutes. meat our pork right back into the mixture and just be careful so you don't get splashed we're just gonna add that right back in and once we get the meat back in it we're gonna add our pepper and we're just gonna let this cook now this is gonna take about five to seven minutes because what we want to do now is we want this sauce to cook down and reduce and it's gonna get thick. And you'll notice because it'll start to get really thick on you. 
So we're gonna cook this now for about, like I said, about five to seven minutes, you'll know it. It'll be real thin and all of a sudden it'll start to get thick on you. We're just gonna let this sit in here and it's gonna simmer now. And like I said, this sauce will start to thicken up really, really thick. And you're also gonna notice that's why we use cornstarch and not flour. We want this to stay nice and clear. As you can see, the sauce is starting to thicken up. And that's what we're looking for. And we're gonna let it go till it gets a little bit thicker because you don't want it to really run. You want everything to be coated. This is about what you're looking for. It's nice, thick. We don't want to get too far into it because then it's going to start to burn in the bottom of the pan. But this is about what you're looking for. It's nice and thick. It's coating the meat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and we're going to get ready to plate this up. We have everything done. We cooked our pork. We've left it simmer. And we made some rice because we like to put this over a little bit of rice. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to plate the pork onto the rice. Add a little bit of chopped green onion. And to finish it off, you can do this optional if you want, but we're going to add a little bit of sesame seed. And that is Mongolian pork. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And like I said in the beginning, help our channel out, help us grow. Subscribe, like, and share this channel. And I will see you next week.